Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial where I'm trying to uh, study uh, the watercolors and what I've done in this drawing is uh, make a jumping fox and he is uh, hunting in the moonlight and I've used for this, for this uh, 2H graphite pencil and what I will do next is to go over that drawing with the Stettler Fineliner and this is a uh, 0.1 so it's really really fine and um, well because I am a beginner at watercoloring it is very nice to uh, first draw in or draw out your drawing with that Stettler and the nice thing about the Stettler is that it will not um, uh, dissolve in the water so it will stay there and it will give you a guideline once you start uh, taking out the watercolors and your brushes and go into that drawing and start practicing your coloring with the watercolors. Okay, here I'm starting and I'm using a broad brush and the Van Gogh watercolors. And the sky itself will be quite dark because it's uh, well, it's at night, of course, and uh, oops, getting rid of that. It's night, and it's a moonlit uh, night, and the fox is hunting for mice, uh, which are under the snow. So it's uh, dark, it's snowy, and there's a moon. And for the background, for the sky, I've used uh, the darkest blue, a little bit of black, and mix that together and get my first shadows in. I use that same color for the shadows that are in the snow. Also here, a little bit underneath the fox that is jumping up to actually catch a mouse. Now because it's a night landscape, uh, there will be not too much bright colors. So each and every color I temper down by mixing them with a little bit of black and dark blue. Now here I've put in a little bit of green with that, but just a little bit, because as I was saying, in the night there are not a lot of bright colors. Here I'm getting more uh, painty like, so I do not keep within the lines, I um, just use them and I paint around them as you can see here in the bushes and on the ground and well I simply tip around the lines that I've drawn in it's very nice that they stay there uh, the ones that I've drawn in with the Stettler and now I can simply practice my watercoloring by painting around them and having a a thread to hold on and push those colors in. Now for the fox itself I'm using a little yellow ochre and burnt sienna which is kind of red-ish but also the fox cannot be too bright because uh, well actually the light is coming from behind him 
but I need an under layer of some color and to make him stand out from the blueness of the background. For the whole drawing, I'm only using two kinds of brushes. That is this one, which is a fine pointy one for uh, the little details, like the blackness on the paws. And um, so I need a, a little and a finer brush for this. And all the rest I'm doing with the flat brush. Also, I'm not using a pure black for the, the black points on the fox. I'm mixing it a little with a little bit with uh, the blue and the burnt sienna. Here, I'm trying to put in some more burnt sienna. But instantly I see that it is, it is too bright and you can easily take a tissue and then pull off the color again. So if you think you are getting in too wet or too colorful or too thick, simply use a tissue and take it off again. You can also use a little bit of water and then uh, ease it out. Now, in the meantime, uh, the sky part is dried up and what I'm doing here is putting in a little bit of yellow ochre, which I mixed with simple yellow and I want that sky to be uh, moonlight colored. So the yellow will work as uh, some kind of, well, fake light if you like and I also use a little bit of yellow on that snow now it's time for uh, the front side and I want that to be quite dark and slowly but certainly I'm putting in more and more dark shadows so just like a graphite drawing you um, very carefully build up the darker parts Here on the left side, I want the sky to be really, really dark. So I'm getting in there. And the color yellow will shine through that dark sky. Here I'm picking up the pigments again a little bit. You can stir around quite a lot as long as that the paint is wet. Now the fox is too bright and don't be alarmed, I simply put over a little bit 
what I used in the sky and place this over the wolf. Then I simply take a tissue and then pick it up. So now the color is tempered a little bit. Here in front, I want the ground to be really dark. So that will do the trick. And put some little bit more darkness here in the tree because well the light is coming from behind so I can make him pop out a little bit more not too much I don't want it to get in front of me too much and once your drawing has dried you can always go back in it with the fine liner again You can put in as many detail and uh, go in as dark as you want. And if you want that fox to be um, well, popping out in front, you can use that same Stadler pencil and draw in all the nice detail. Because the light is coming from behind, you can actually see a bit of a um, silhouette and I'm mainly placing it in on the, uh, uh, the underside of the, of, the, <laughs> of the fox. And of course you can always put in a little bit more color if you want. Well, this is my hunting fox and I hope you will give it a big like and you will give it a try of course. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my tutorials and I will see you again in my next one. Take care, see you next time.